And that's been very pleased to hear at least the first three major investors in the country have been very constructive and very positive as to their experiences at this point in time. And I'm making some phone calls on behalf of Invest from Macedonia. And there's not a better selling point than to tell, call the CEO of Johnson Matthew, call the CEO of Johnson Controls. They can vouch this is not simply words on a piece of paper or purported benefits, but companies are there, and Macedonian workers and Macedonian managers are actually delivering for their companies. Don't want to tell you everything is perfect. There's no country perfect in the world, Macedonia included, but I think those steps are the right ones. And we just need to keep driving forward with confidence and lots of resolve. Uh, second point, it is very important to remember that to build a robust economy, that's hard work, takes a long time, and it is absolutely imperative if you, if you want to have a modern and healthy society. What it is to provide education for the kids, what it is to provide social benefits for the workers uh, in totality. So it's hard work, takes a long time, and it is absolutely imperative. And I would argue the additional challenges in countries like Macedonia is the transition from a communist and socialist system to one of capitalism. You can argue the pros and cons of both of them. Capitalism has proven to be the, by far the best system in the world, in the history of mankind, but it does have lots of hard edges. And that adjustment, it can be very painful. My closest personal experience was that uh, from 1996 to 1999, I was the CEO for GE Lighting in Europe. And that involved managing 18,000 workers in Budapest uh, and five other Hungarian cities. It was the oldest, most famous lighting uh, company, Tungsrum. And GE had acquired them five years ago. It was still 1996. There was lots of dissatisfaction. Uh, what people had thought was going to happen as soon as, quote, unquote, capitalism came in. It's been three and a half wonderful years, tough, lots of progress, lots of misunderstandings uh, uh, throughout. But at the end, it was very good for the employees particularly for the youth coming up through the system, to become very modern managers in terms of a, to be successful in the 20th, um, 20th and 21st century. And Hungary today certainly is a far different cry from what Hungary used to be in the 1980s. So I do think it's very important to remember for people in, about to invest in Macedonia that this is a different culture. Adjustment will be required, but the benefits will be so significant for the companies and I firmly believe for Macedonian Macedonians. Uh, and the last um, comment at the 50,000 foot level is that that's why, as John mentioned, from the four priorities for Macedonia 2025, the ability to drag foreign investment into the country is number one. Not because it's most important from a philosophical, or psychological, or emotional basis, but just the ability that bringing foreign investment is going to accelerate learning, accelerate uh, best practices, if you will, and frankly provides uh, impetus for the Masonian economy to become part of a global uh, economy. A couple of statistics, um, uh, the annual GDP within Macedonia is $9 billion, $9 billion. The global economy last year was $58 trillion. So we're a small country, but we have very, very significant um, uh, neighbors, if you will, and if you look at EU, uh, it is an outstanding opportunity to have Macedonia become a much more relevant country for in both importing uh, and exporting um, our products and services. So I can go for a long time, but I look forward to a healthy level of questions. I thought uh, the questions that we had for the previous speakers are outstanding. Hopefully we'll have the same thing for, for the four of us. But before that, I do want to make a couple of comments. Again, part of the reason I'm here is UMD. Meto had asked me nicely, but also unfortunately I'll not be, I'll not, I'll not be, be able to be here this, uh, this weekend and the previous engagements. I do want to say to, um, to give my personal um, thanks and appreciation for I think a, true, a real hero in the business and in the um, Macedonian world. Uh, you probably see the copy of our um, tribute to John Beethoven Sr. My dad passed away back in 1991. I've been tremendously, if you know, look up to, to a role model, I've put John there in a very, very unique um, stratosphere, if you will. 
And when Metro asked me, well, how do you want to uh, define your appreciation for John, I mean, simply put, for his exemplary leadership and be a role model for democracy and free enterprise, what he's been able to accomplish in this country is as impressive as anything I've seen, his values, his commitment to education, uh, supporting Macedonians in Macedonia and all over the world, and last but certainly not least, of being such a great role model for all of us in how to be a great husband, how to be a great father, and how to be a great friend. So John, thank you very much.